So now we know how to make place marks and polygons in Google Earth. And the next thing that we're going to try to make are paths. So you'll come up here to the Add Path um, tool and give it a click. And we come up with this dialog box that, again, looks very similar to the polygon and to the place mark um, tool. And we're, we're just going to leave this over here for a minute. So what I want to do is actually trace um, a river that I found that's kind of close to Lake Okoboji. And um, I want to see if this river is actually going to intersect or, or run into Lake Okoboji. So I see this stream up here. And the way that this works is it's pretty simple. It's a lot like the polygon. What you do is you just click to make a point, And you click again to make another point, And you just continue doing that to make line segments that continue on and on and on. And I'm not following this super closely, but I'm getting close enough to find where that river is going. That's how I'm following it. Something that you cannot do when you have the add a path tool on is try to drag. So if I were to try to drag, what would happen is I would just create another point. So in this case, you have to use the move tool. So you come over here to this navigation area and you have to click this to move down. Again, you cannot click and drag in the normal map right now because you have this other add path tool open. So I'm going to continue to follow this stream or river, whatever it is, down in the map. And to me, it's looking like more and more like we're probably not going to match up with Lake Okoboji on this path. I'm going to click a little further, see where it goes. But I'm thinking that we've bypassed Lake Okoboji in the stream, which is fine. Okay, so when I'm done with that, I just stop clicking. And I come to my dialog box here, and we're going to call this um, uh, stream no Okoboji, because it doesn't flow into Okoboji. And we can put in our description if we want to, um, a stream that runs, runs west of Okoboji, but does not feed it. It's just an example. We wouldn't. Have, we could write something different. We wouldn't have to write anything at all. So then we can influence the style and color, and this is just like the um, the edges of the polygon that we saw over here uh, when we were retracing Lake Okoboji. So I can change the color. Um, I think I think a blue will stand out very nicely, and it'll talk it'll talk to what I want to say, which is basically that this is a stream. So I click on that. So. Now we're now they're all blue, and additionally, I want to make sure everyone can see this, so I'm going to crank the width up. So I have a width of three, and opacity I'm going to leave at 100 because I want to make sure everyone sees this. So then I click OK, and now I have this nice path that goes along west of Lake Okoboji. Now with this, uh, when you have a path, it's going to show up kind of like this. It's going to be a three dot. Um, connected by line segments and notice how stream no kaboji and then it gives a description right underneath it. Now as you might imagine this isn't the best way to view this path because maybe we want to look at it in such a way that um, lets us again look over the landscape. I, I just kinda like this view because it seems more real to me than looking straight down. So and we get some nice perspective here too. So we like this view um, there's really nothing to click on out here. We could click directly on it here and looks like we could do snapshot view this way. So what I did is I, I clicked directly on the line and I right clicked and then I could say snapshot view. So whenever we come back to this stream no kaboji path, it'll take us back to this. So just to show that that's the case, I'll click on lakes of northwestern Iowa, which shows us Lake Okoboji from this perspective. And then I'll click on stream no kaboji which brings us back to this perspective. And notice that all these things now are saved under my places. That's not the final place that they'll be, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So the final thing, and what I think is, is one of the most fun things um, in Google Earth, is the create a tour, or add a tour. And this is new for the newer versions of Google Earth. The old versions do not have record a tour. Uh, but what this allows us to do is actually 
uh, record a path of movement in Google Earth. So what we can do is we'll just click up here, record a tour, and then down here in the lower left hand corner we get uh, this button that is, as many people might recognize, a record button. And then this microphone button that controls whether or not we uh, record sound when we're um, doing our tour. Most of the time I don't do that because I like to talk to the tour as it goes. But if you wanted to, you could also record sound. So I'm going to click record. And now everything that I do within Google Earth is going to be recorded. So if I move this, if I move us to the north, this is all being recorded. Notice we can see down here this counter is going up. So maybe now I want to change our direction and I want to zoom in a little bit more and I want to bring us back to Lake Okoboji in the Spirit Lake area. And then I decide that I want to zoom way out so I can get a better look at all this stuff and then I want to turn us back north like this. North is up. And the compass tool and now I'm done I, I think that I've recorded a good tour so I'll press that button again and it's going to take me directly back to where I started this tour so right now it's playing the tour for me and that's what this little uh, sidebar down here allows us to do so notice it's mimicking all my actions you can see my cursor here I'll put it over here to the left so you can see that I'm not doing any of this this is just the computer playing back a tour that I just made you can see now, as you remember, we're going to head back here and we're set up pretty nicely. So that's what tours allow you to do. And now we can see on this play bar that we're almost done with the tour. I think I remember us turning around once. Yeah, there it is. And then it's done. So these are your controls. So for when you make a tour and when you can and when you um, save a tour, these this is the bar that allows you to do it. So in order to save it, notice that there's no tour over here right now. So in order to save it and make sure that you keep it, you click on this save button and it'll come up with untitled tour. And you have to put um, uh, travel across MN border and back because we went north of the, the border between Iowa and Minnesota and then we came on back. So you can put a description, um, a random tour created for the purposes of education. I'll just write that, then I'll click OK. And notice now how there's a little camera icon over here and travel across MN border and back is over here in the sidebar. So these are basically all the things you need to make a killer presentation um, about uh, some volcanic activity.